This is the hardest part about our Christian walk is that we have to put ourselves in our check our hearts all the time. We have to check our hearts. We often live on a checklist. You get up every day and you make yourself a little list, whether it's an actual physical list or a mental list of all the things you got to do and accomplish today. How often do you make yourself a heart list and check off and check your own heart and your own what you really think about? So I've heard a lot of a lot of things lately about God's going to deal with our enemies. Yeah, he is. But God has a weird way of dealing with our enemies that is a little different than ours. Because the Bible says he makes a place for us and seats us in that place. He sits us at this table in the presence of our enemies. Well, I don't know about you, but I'd rather just deal with the enemies, remove them from my life. We would love God to just strike our haters dead. You know? Well, that's what we want, that kind of justice. Yet what we don't realize is we deserve that kind of justice. You guys, we're forgiven of the same things most of them are guilty of. Remember, hate? If you speak badly of your brother, it's hate, and hate is the same as murder. Remember, Jesus brought the law to its extreme. If you look at a woman wrong, or a man wrong, and I should say men too, because women nowadays are just as lustful as guys. That used to not be like that, but now it is. If you don't think so, the commercials have guys taking their shirts off too, not just the women anymore. I'm like, whoa, put something on. Why? You have to protect your heart and your eyes. It goes both ways now. This world is full of it. It's just full of it. We have to be very careful because the truth is we're just as guilty as our enemies of things. The only difference between us and them is that we found Christ somehow. He found us and we gave in (laughs) to him and have received his grace and his mercy. Somewhere in there, we have to walk in mercy Matthew chapter 5 is the Beatitudes, and I'm not going to read all of them. But from verse 7 of Matthew chapter 5, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Now I want to stop there for a minute because a lot of times the idea of being a peacemaker means that we should never stand up and defend ourselves. It's not what that means. It's not what it means at all. You guys, we should stand for righteousness right now. We should stand for the things that need to happen in our nation and in our families and our homes. We should stand for right things. That doesn't mean we be a pushover and just let things happen, okay? This is about protecting our attitudes and protecting our words. I want to tell you right now on social media what I have noticed. And I have been off of it mostly. And when I get on, it's very few and far between. And when I do get on, what I see is a lot of snarky. Everyone's angry. Listen, I understand your anger. I understand your frustration. I'm there. But we have to watch our attitude. We have to watch our attitude because from our hearts will flow rivers of life or rivers of rivers of bitter you guys we can get really bitter over this do i agree with everything that's happened in our nation absolutely not in fact i'm disgusted i'm disgusted there is no other word i'm disgusted at my core to the level of evil and lying and deceit that has been in our nation there is no reason for it None. And I'm disgusted at our Supreme Court who was put into a position and has not honored the Bible that they swore on. I'm disgusted at the president who has swore on a Bible he has not honored. But this is what the Lord spoke to me today. He said, they swore on my word. Oh, those are tough words. Go back to what Jesus said to them. Yeah, well, you would rather be Sodom on the day of judgment than to be one of the cities who did not receive Christ when he was here. 
it, it would be better for Washington, D.C. right now to be Sodom on the day of judgment than to be who they are right now. Because they have rejected the lamb. They have rejected the lion of the tribe of Judah. They have rejected the God that they swore on his word to. I want you to remember whose enemies they really are. They're not yours. They're his. And my job is not to collect their tears. This is not my judgment to have. That's what this cup reminds me. I'm not their God. It wasn't my word they swore on. It was his.